okay so let's start with uh, part 2 of our framework discussion so we have left with these topics to discuss so firstly I'll start with environment variables of Cypress thereafter we can go and discuss on dashboard and screenshot part okay right so what are environmental variables in general so these are the variables which are globally declared for your framework so that they will have access to each and every test case so examples are like urls you will declare that url in your global variable so that every test case can access that url okay so for example let's say that you are working in one real time project and before you go to the production you will have different environments like qa environment and then uat environment basically code will be same but you will just deploy them in different environments like first you start in qa you test it thoroughly and then you move the code into uat and then perform uat testing there so urls will change for both environments isn't it now for example rahulshettyacademy.com is prod url this is the production but when we are testing after our development have completed coding so we will do that in qa environment which we can say as rahulshettyacademyqa.com which points to my qa environment so once it is ready then we will move into uat testing so that i am the client here so that i will validate everything in the uat server so once everything is good and sign off then we will deploy it into the prod so basically urls change but inside code everything will be same so if you declare the your, your url as your global variable so that tomorrow if you want to run your all test cases in different environment so that you can change it only at one single place and all the test cases will be reflected that change and you can run whole your framework in different environment okay so in our existing test case if you look at here all our tests have hard coded url in our test file which is not good so tomorrow if i want to run in different environment i have to go to each and every test and i have to update the url that's one example like what are different global variables or environment variables you use in your framework okay so it's just like what we have done in cypress.json file that we have set default command timeout right which is applicable to all the places in our test case similarly but one thing these are the variables declared by cypress so that you can define them directly here but if you want to write customized environment variables now url is your global variable isn't it cypress is not giving you or not exposing you any global variable for your url so when you are designing framework you might have your own global variables which you want to configure so that it's applicable to entire framework so let's see how can we do that and set our own custom environment variables i may use environment variables or global variables both are same just a terminologies usage of it okay all right if i want to use environment variables i have to declare that in cypress.json file because this is the file which will be applicable to entire framework but you might get a question that we already declared this right can't i just create one more variable like url equals to um sorry colon some http dot com you can do this right but problem here is you can directly declare in this manner only if this variable is exposed by cypress if you go to your test runner um, settings see these are the different variables exposed by cypress if you are one of your variable is part of this you can declare like this if it is not 
and if it is your custom environment variable you just need to do same way but only one difference is that you have to first set key called env which stands for environment and in that json it's like sub json okay and you can start declaring all your variables here only thing is you just need to wrap your custom environment variables into another sub json like this okay it's like key value pair right environment variable is a key here value is nothing but set of variables what you declare that's it so right now let's say that this is the url what we have used for our framework best practices and one thing you have to remember here cypress comes with inbuilt framework like cypress.json file plugins support folder fixtures and integration folder to where you can write all your test cases if you take any other automation tools like selenium apm or protractor they just come as a jar file it's our duty to create all these folders and create all the centralization but with cypress everything is ready you just need to create a test case using cypress framework standards that's it do not think that we have to create something from scratch it, it comes by default only thing just use the whatever features given by cypress for framework design utilizing by utilizing those features design your test case just like how we have did for test 8 framework.js okay so we have driven the data from fixtures page objects and so many things right um, by creating customized commands and doing some environment variables of command timeout so use all these features and just design a test case that's it and there is no specific framework design from scratch like keyword driven data driven here so cypress is asking to follow these rules to build a better automation test okay so here this is our url did i copy this earlier i'm not sure um, did I get it here everything okay nice you can remove this perfect so you have successfully given URL and I think better put HTTPS as well that should be complete URL now remove hard coding this from your test Go to your framework so instead of hard coding that complete url you can just say as cy dot env so basically you have to call it using cypress cypress dot this is the method environment and environment method you need to pass the key whatever you want to execute it here url you see that key it's nothing but the key what you have declared in your cypress.json look at here how neatly they documented if you are wondering how would trainer know all this i just read it from here when i click select a method env it's show, showing me how to do that look at here in cypress.json it first declared variables like this url and the uh, actual url value and then come back to your test cypress.env is a method and you have to call this key value url into here you can either use single quote or double quote doesn't matter and that's it this will print bar so in our case when i execute url it will print that rahulshettyacademy.com slash angular practice and then we are wrapping that in our visit method so that it hits the url so that's the concept and whatever you feel like that should be a part of your global variable you can actually define that in your environment key and then you can happily use it anywhere in your test okay so let me save this make sure you save entire project right? 
after you save it and this is our URL just check if this is correct by hitting in the browser oh there is one quote here um, remove this that's it so I have given two quotes which is not correct all right so let's go back to our test and start running this so now we have not hard coded anything. So it should directly pick it from our global variables and then you should start execution. You see that? So this is now pulled from your global variables which is stored in cypress.json. So that's how you can work with environment variables. And if you want to modify this URL, you can also do it from your command prompt with commands. So let's say now you have defined this URL. So tomorrow, if you want to run that on another URL, you can either update the URL here and that will reflect everywhere. That is one way which we saw, but you can also send this URL value from your command prompt. So while running Cypress run, you can actually ask and set this URL from your command so that it replaces it in runtime. So this is generally used by managers who do not have technical knowledge. Okay, if you ask them to update the URL which is present in this file, they may need to check in code in their machine and update the value and check the push the code back to the source control like git, right? Instead, from commands itself, they can manipulate it. So this is one way what we saw and let me show you the other way. Okay, so Cypress run will however run your test. But if you want to target specific spec file, because I cannot give this as a global URL for all these tests, because few tests have used one URL, QA click academy dot practice and few other tests use Rahul Shetty Academy automation practice. We are using different web applications for testing, but in real projects, when you work, you will not have different URLs. Firstly, you will have one base URL where you log in. Thereafter, you will navigate to different modules, right? Let's say you are working in Bank of America. You just cannot go outside of bankofamerica.com. That will be your main domain. Maybe you might have different subdomains like slash selenium practice or something like that but your main domain says stays same. Now, if you want to understand how does subdomain and main domain changes, let me show you a quick example. Right, so that we are getting this URL, right? I would restrict that only to rahulshettyacademy.com because this is a main page. From this page, your test can go to different modules. For example, test eight framework will go to the angular practice, right? So what you can do now, it's very simple. You need to concatenate with string com slash angular practice. You got it, right? It's very simple. Base URL, you can still put that in your environment and you might go to a different web page. So from main URL, you are navigating to Angular practice. That you can hard code in test because your test is actually acting upon that module. And if you work in different environment, this base URL changes. Thereafter, this will remain same. It will not have effect. Now, by doing like this, we have an advantage now. I can go and update um, test seven. Let's take this test, this as well. Till here it is same, right? base URL. Thereafter, instead of Angular practice, this time it is automation practice. So I'll replace this so that I can actually get rid of hard coding URL. Perfect. Look at this, how neat your code is now. So make sure you put your base URL there and you can update this. Similarly, go and update in all your tests so that it reflects. I have shown two examples of doing from test seven and test eight. You can just make sure that you update everywhere and then just use that resource, whatever you have, Selenium or Angular or automation practice. OK, 
okay let's save the project so this is best example where i can give you about how to put base url and make sure you use different resources from the tests so i will quickly run this test once again just to make sure nothing is breaking and thereafter in my next lecture i will talk about sending from commands okay already this video have more than enough duration so that we will break that in show in next lecture so i am trying to run that test again and look at here there is nothing change everything looks good even after i remove that um, complete url and i just pointed base url but that is still working good so we will meet in the next lecture and continue this discussion thank you